Hey, so today's video is one I did a while back. It covers some lesser known functionality within Employee Central that allows you to create custom email templates for some specific processes that you might have in your organization. So a little caveat up front, I would not go nuts and just create one of these for every one of your processes. It would only be for something that you feel like needs an additional bit of guidance because there's a lot of overhead to do these as well as to maintain them. So with that out of the way, let's get in and explain the steps in creating custom process templates. So what we're going to show now is how to create a custom version of the time off. So, but first we need to make sure that we have document generation turned on. So I'm just going to show that step real quick. We go to employee central settings. We scroll down to the very bottom and you can see there that document generation is actually enabled in this environment. So we're good to go there. So that again, that's the first step that you need to go through is just make sure document generation is in place. Okay, so next up, we're going to create our document generation group. And so we're going to go in and we're going to go to document generation, manage document template. This is the main place that you're going to go for what we're doing to today. We're going to go out and we're going to create new. We're going to go to document generation group. So this is going to be the group and you can use this if you wanted to have multiple different template notifications for a specific workflow as we'll see later. Here we're going to just put in a group ID. In this case, it's going to be absence request. Put in the absence name, absence request, and the category needs to be workflow. All right. Press save. And all right, step number one is complete. Now we're going to move on with creating the document template itself. And so you're going to go over to create new document generation template. And you'll see here. So the first thing we're going to do is create the template ID absence request approval. This is going to be the approval step. And this is a reminder you have to the template ID for these for some reason needs to be all caps doing that here. Just calling us absence request underscore approval. And we'll put in the template name. Next will be the category. And of course, that's also workflow. If you want to make it country specific, you can. And we will put in the age of English and group. And now we're going to put in the information. You can see here, I went ahead and pasted it ahead of time. There's a lot of different tokens that we're using here. Subject name, start date, end date, initiator comment, and workflow link. I'm just going to show you real quick if I how I can put in a new placeholder if I wanted to. So click there, put the P, then if I click OK, you'll see that it, it shows up there. So I just wanted to give you that. I've already got all the ones that we need pasted in there, but just in case you needed to. Also, we're going to put in the email subject. We have to manually put in our placeholder here that's going to be a time off request for and then two two brackets subject name all right got that in looks good so we are good there so now we move on to the next step in the process which will be to create the mapping so let's go do that next So document template, this time we are going to go to template mapping. And so this is how we turn those placeholders into values. So we're going to select our template. In our case, it's absence request. And you can see all of the placeholders that we put in place. They all need to be set to reference. And for each one, we will specify the flow property that we're going to tie it to. We'll, and we're, the first one's going to be prefer, preferred name, the second one start date, the next one end date, what have you. So finish these out real quick. And lastly, the link. So 
Again, reference. Make view link. Save. All right. Okay, so we are moving on. Okay, so next up, we're going to go to workflow email configuration. This is where we say which steps in the process we want our custom template to show up. So we're gonna go in, we are going to create new. And you'll see here, we're gonna put in absence approval. And the, o the only step that we really want in this example to enhance is the first one, which is uh, making sure that the approver gets a workflow template that's a little bit more user-friendly. So we're just gonna select this one, workflow initiated, whoever the current approver is, they're going to be notified that change, or th that they need to take a, make approval or uh, take action to approve. And so we have got that in there now. All right, and we press save. And we will move on to the next step, which is now finally this into the workflow template itself. So this is the step you've probably seen if you've gone in and done any workflow configuration. So we go to manage org, pay and job structures and we're gonna go into the workflow template. So we select workflow, and then we're gonna select our workflow template. In this case, it's absence request. So select that, and then now all I have to do is go to workflow email configuration, and you can see that we're tying it into our workflow template group that we have set up, and now we press save. And we have everything in place now in order to have a custom notification go out for our time off approval. So let's go in and we're gonna show you what this looks like now. We're gonna go in and actually go through the process real quick. I'm gonna proxy in as Jeff Hill and I am going to put in a request. I'm just gonna put in, go to time, time off. Create a new absence. Put in vacation. Also gonna put in a comment so you can see what those look like in the email template that goes out. It's National Cat Literacy Day. Oh, excuse me, Cat Literacy Awareness Day. And now I'm gonna submit. And voila, now I'm gonna go in and show you what the email template looks like so that you can see the improvement that was made over the ugly email that I showed you early on. So now if you look, I, you can see here, it's got the description of who submitted it. You can see the date, the beginning and end. You see the comments there, and you also see that we have a link in there as well. Hopefully you see the value in that, and I hope you enjoy this video.